In this video, we'll be discussing a J advanced PYQ, which confuses students and at times many teachers. What I'll do is I'll simultaneously solve two questions. Now, this first question is the original question, which was asked in J advanced. And this question is we have to find this limit x tends to 1 and then it was given it is minus ax plus sine x minus 1 plus a divided by x plus sine x minus 1 minus 1 to the power 1 minus x upon 1 minus under root x and it is given that it is equal to 1 by 4. Now what we'll do is we'll take this a together and here we'll take this 1 and x together so we can write this as limit x tends to 1 and we'll write this as minus a x minus 1 plus sine x minus 1 upon x minus 1 plus sine x minus 1 and the numerator also we'll write this as a square minus b square so we'll write this as 1 minus under root x 1 plus under root x divided by 1 minus under root x and it is equal to 1 by 4. Now what we'll do is since x tends to 1 and x is not equal to 1 so within the bracket we'll divide everything with x minus 1 and here in the power we'll cancel 1 minus root x. So now we can write this as limit x tends to 1 and here will be this minus a plus sine x minus 1 upon x minus 1 and here this value will be 1 plus sine x minus 1 upon x minus 1 and here if we cancel 1 minus root x it will be this 1 plus under root x and this is equal to 1 by 4. Now as x tends to 1, this is sine 0, which is 0, 0 upon 0 form. And it's a standard limit whose value is 1. So this limit is 1 and this limit is also 1. And here this power will be 2. So we can write this as minus a plus 1 upon 2 whole square and it will be equal to 1 by 4. Now this 4 and 4 will cancel. We'll get a minus 1 equals plus or minus 1. So the value of a is either 0 or value of a is 2. There are two values of a possible. Value of a could be either 0 or value of a could be 2. Then the question they have asked for largest value of non-negative integer a. Now for this question it appears that the largest value of a is 2. Now if a is 2, now here this value it is minus 2. This is nearly 1. And this is also nearly 1. So in this case, this exponent, it is negative. And then we have this power, which is 1 plus under root x. Now, 1 plus under root x, when this limit x tends to 1, this is 2. So limiting value of this power is 2. But then that doesn't mean this value is 2. So this value is not exactly 2, but some value in the neighborhood of 2. Now in this neighborhood of 2 there may be many rational and irrational values and for this this minus 1 to the power neighborhood of 2 may not be defined. For a equals 2 this limit is not consistent in the neighborhood of 2 that means a equals 2 is not the solution to this limit. So the only solution possible to this limit is a equals 0 and that is the answer to this question. But if we replace this power with 2 then in that case it becomes an entirely different concept then if we solve this question this power will be 2 power will be 2 power is 2 so again we'll have a equals 0 and a equals 2 now if we put this a equals 2 even if it is a negative number it is exactly 2 and square of a negative number is both defined and mathematically consistent so in this case the largest value of non-negative integer a will be 2. So that is the difference between the two powers. When we say limit x tends to a fx equals l, it doesn't mean that 
f a equals l it simply means that when x approaches a this function fx it approaches l it is not exactly equal to l and that's the reason many students get this wrong